Hey, it's Entheogen, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, last time we had released Drakenstein, the New Regime, which is an alternate history action game where you are in a world where Nazi vampires presumably have taken over the world. Um, huge success. It was a massive success. It fooled like 5 million units the first three weeks. Um, that is great. Um, we're going to develop a new... We're going to develop a sequel, I think, in this episode. Um, we're going to do... We're going to develop a sequel to Seed. Um, or do we want to do a sequel to Seed? Um, let's do a sequel to... Well, let's, do something, let's do a sequel to one of our older games we haven't done in a while. Um, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do some contract work and get, see if we can get some more... Um, points. Game art. Let's go ahead and do it. Some more research points. I want some research points. I was really hoping we could break 10 million sales with Dragonstein the New Regime, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, we're up to 9 million, so we might get kind of close. Okay, so 100,000. We've got 20 research points. Uh, find contract work. Uh, debug program. We'll accept that contract. 9.3, 9.4. Come on, break 10 million. 9.5. Find contract work. I'm really hoping that this will break. Um, they want us to uh, so play test. Let's do that. If I could break 10 million units for Drakenstein, the new regime, I would be so happy. Okay. There's that. Okay. Um, design a board game. Let's do that. Oh, darn it. We didn't quite make it. We sold 9.6 million units, generating $105 million in sales. It's our biggest hit ever. That's so great. People loved it. People loved Drakenstein. Okay, today the new games platform, Play System 5 by Vani, has been released. Okay. We're designing a board game. All right. So, we want to do a large booth. Get our fans. We've got half a million fans. So I was thinking that maybe we'd have, be able to do a half a million fans. We'd be able to do large games, but so far not yet. Okay, so those guys are kind of worn out. Um, let's have them do some research here. Research some new topics. History. Start research. Research a new topic. Dungeon. Okay. And we're going to have you research another thing, which is going to be a new topic, which is going to be hospital. Start research. And I'm going to research a new topic, which is going to be what? Transport. Uh, we'll go back and we'll do prison. Okay, and then we've got to send all these guys on vacation. Because they're, they're getting worn out. Here's our your G3 booth. Drakenstein, the new regime. People love that game. They loved it. We got a huge fan base. All kinds of fan fiction being written about our game. All kind of fan art. Oh, we're we gonna break two million. No, we only got 1.5. We're for the number one booth again. Two years running. Sweet, sweet, awesome, awesome sauce. Okay, hospital history. Um, I can have research one more thing. I guess research another new topic. Virtual pet. And you can research another thing too. So we may actually unlock all of the various research topics here. Military. Okay. Somebody's honking out there. I don't know what that is, what that's about. Okay. Um. Virtual pet, all of you guys go on vacation. Okay. They're all going on vacation. They're going to get charged back up again. <clears throat> all right. Okay. So they're all back. I think we've got some new technology we haven't used. So let's build a new engine. Create a custom engine. Do we have anything? Moral choices. Let's add that in there. Uh, dynamic environment. Uh, we're going to call this the. Um, what kind of? What are we going to call this? We're going to call this the um, vamp 
engine. Create the engine. All right, so they're gonna make that for me, which is good. Okay, so we're gonna recreate some more research points. I'd like to unlock all of the various topics. Market is normalized again. We don't have any new strong trends. I don't mind that, but uh, we got, we're rolling about $200 million in cash. All right, these guys are working on this. Excellent. Vamp engine's gonna be huge, gonna be a big success. Basic physics, online play. People like that stuff. We have surprised we don't have advanced physics yet, but it seems like this is like like even though we're now in like the future of gaming, it's like we've we're like ten years behind in terms of development stuff. Like a lot of this stuff is being advanced below there. A boss, a small number of dedicated fans have asked that we release the source code to one of our old game engines, Cart Engine. Doing so would surely satisfy these fans, but given that we worked hard on the engine, we could also sell licenses for it makes some money. Um, you know what? We're going to give it away because we were two, two engines ahead of that. So we'll hopefully get some ends. Boss, a recent decision to give away our engine, Cart Engine, was met with positive responses from fans. We gained 20,000 fan, 20, fans, and it cost us $2,500, which is nothing. It's a drop in the bucket. Got some more research. So I should be able to unlock all the topics pretty much at this point. All right. New game engine. Moral choices. Research. 100 points. Coming up. Vamp engine is now complete. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock new topics. What do we got? We got life. Start the research. Um, Research new topic. Uh, aliens wasn't that wouldn't that fall under UFO? I don't know. Research new topic. Pirate. And then you research new topic. Surgery. How is that different from hospital? I don't know. It is apparently it's different from hospital somehow. Okay. Okay. So we've reached complete the life. We're gonna have him research a new topic too. Space. And you're gonna research a new topic and it's going to be Wild West. And we're gonna research a new topic, government. And finally, you're gonna research a new topic, which should be the last one that we need to do. Oh, we got two, transport and vocabulary, so vocabulary. Okay. You guys are researching all this stuff. Space is done, so we're gonna research the very last topic that we need to do, which is going to be transport. We'll have unlocked every single topic, which will be awesome. So now we can do any kind of game any time we want. All right, so let's complete a transport. Let's start a new game. Uh, it's going to be a medium game. It's going to be E for everyone. It's going to pick a topic. It is going to be a space game. Yeah, space. Genre. It's going to be a simulation and also simulation. And it's going to be on um, PC as well as the Mbox Next and the um, PlayStation 5. And we're going to call this one Verbal Space Program. Pick the game engine. It's going to be using the VAMP engine. Okay, so graphics. Most advanced. Start the development. All right. Technology is doing great. Um, Storyline quests, not very important. We're going to add moral choices to this. Looks good. Everything looks good. Um... So his design's still kind of low, so let's go ahead and put me on the story and quests. I guess, okay. All right. Large booth for G3 this year. Okay. We're gonna have a huge presence. Verbal space program is gonna be big. Hi, this is Jason Green from Gaming World. I got word that Mushroom Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? 
Yes. What is your expectation regarding the success of Verbal Space Program? Do you think the game will be well received? Be modest. Thank you for your time. I'm, I'm really bad at judging whether these games are going to be successful or not. So I'm like, I'm not going to toot my own horn too much. Okay, um... Dialogue's kind of low, level design's fine, artificial intelligence. We're gonna have a dynamic environment. Every time one of your spaceships blows up on the launch pad, it's gonna make a huge crater. Okay. Oh, we should do uh, marketing. Small campaign. What's a large campaign cost us? Um, let's do a small campaign. Okay. All right. Mushroom Games, Verbal Space Program. Everyone's into. Everyone's interested in it. They're hyping. They're hyping it up. So let's see how many fans we get. Four, seven, eight. There we go. Six. So we got 1.6 million fans came and visited us. Are we still number one? Number one booth. Three years running. Sweet. We're awesome. Everyone loves us. We're awesome. Everyone's gonna love Verbal Space Program. That'd be great. It's gonna be a great game. World design, um, they say it's not very important, but I kind of think that it is. Um, so let's, let's crank that up a little bit, I guess. And I'll be doing graphics, and sound is okay, I guess. Alright, hype is huge. Look at how hype we are. Everyone's really excited about this game. Okay, alright. Design's over 100. Technology's definitely gonna be over 200. Which I'm glad to see. It's got a lot of bugs in it though, so it's gonna take a little while to debug it. Okay. So debugging the game. Get it all those all them bugs out. Believe me. Because I mean our players are gonna have enough problems getting their spacecraft into space. They don't need to have any extra additional problems, thanks to bugs. Um, okay. Alright. Doing great in terms of technology. Design, can we do above 150 in terms of design? Nope, hype's dropping. And anyway, these guys are gonna need to go on vacation. Experience gain, new record, new record, sweet. New topic, new combo. Good management. I haven't gotten a great combo in a long time. Dialogues are doing great. Level design. Artificial intelligence. 3D graphics aren't, didn't get a level up there. And level up there, there. Gabriel Pittman leveled up. Sweet. Release the space, pro uh, space program. <laughs> Gabriel Pittman now gets earns ninety thousand dollars a year. Well, I mean, we're making we're making a lot of money. Um, what's okay? First reviews for our newly released game, Variable Space Program, came in. I saw a ten. Ten awesome Star Games thinks it's awesome. An outstanding game according to Informant Gamer. We're doing great. Played it for days, according to Game Hero. Great, according to all games. Okay, so let's do some um, contract work. Uh, yeah, debug that program. We'll get some research points. Oop, verbal space program. Million units, first week. So, awesome sauce. Three million <laughs> in second week. Verbal space program is great. People love this. All right, fine contract work. Um, game art, yeah, we'll do that. Man, if I could break 10 million units, that'd be great. That'd be sweet. Five million units. In two months, the place has been four will be taken off the market. We just got word that Rebel Space Program, which was recently released by Mushroom Games, has racked up over five million sales. We wonder how many more it will sell. So do I, I wanna know if it will sell 10 million. Drakenstein came really close. Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise hit of the year is Verbal Space Program by Mushroom Games. The game responds to the player in such a realistic fashion that it sometimes makes you forget that this is just a game. To Mushroom Games, please keep the hits coming. Gary White Gamers. Will do, Gary. We like to keep our, our fans happy. Alright. Sweet. 110. Before you guys go off to your vacation, let's find one more contract to do. Uh, game backdrops. Except that, yeah, we can get four points for that. If we can get four points, then we can research something else. Okay, there we go. All right. You guys, go on vacation. Send on vacation. 
Send on vacation. Send on vacation. 9.1 million sa stuff. Generate a trade for, uh, game report for Verbal Space Program. Yeah. Find out what went so well. Three million, three hundred million dollars. We're doing hot. Play System 4 is no longer supported. You've released three games on the platform and turned a total of 1.161 million dollars. Awesome. Come on, Verbal Space Program. 10 million units. 10 million. Oh, we're getting so close. Post-release analysis of Verbal Space Program release reveals that space and simulation is a great combination. World design seems not to be very important for this type of game. Platform audience match, Play System 5, everyone, great. 10 million, we made 10 million units. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna have you tr research. Uh, I can't do any new topics, right? Yeah, I can't do any new topics. They're all really researched. Um, we're gonna have him research uh, orchestral, uh, let's do cooperative play. Okay, and then industry news. Diamond sent tell me, uh, we send tell, sell 10 million copies of the game. We just got word that verbal space program which is recently released by Mushroom Games has racked up over 10 million sales. If a game were a music record, it would have a diamond status. Yeah. This game truly deserves, we call it triple A. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna research this over here and then we're going to do another game. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Okay, so that's done. He's done with that. So let's go ahead and develop a, let's do a sequel. Um, let's do a sequel to an older game. Uh, what was the, some of, some of the really old ones. Uh, Secret of Couture, which was one we did way back in the day, fashion RPG. Um, Let's, yeah, let's make a secret to this one. A secret, a sequel to this one. So it's going to be called um, Secret of Couture 2. It's going to be a medium game. Everyone, we're going to change it from being fashion because that wasn't very successful to a... Um, we're going to make it a superhero RPG slash action. It's going to be available for Mbox next. PlayStation System 5 and PC, and we're gonna use the Vamp Engine. Next, okay, we're gonna use the, the latest in 3D graphics, start development. Verbal Space Program is now off the market. It sold 10.8 million units, generating $118.8 million in sales. Holy crap, we're awesome, we're so awesome. All right, so, Again, everything the same. Story of Quest is going to be very important for a RPG. Um, looks okay to me for right now. Alright, getting some hype for Secret of Couture 2. I'm hoping the hype is, is awesome. They're going to ask us if we want to go to, to G3 here in a second. At which point we're going to dominate again. So yeah, see, large booth. Choose it. Especially coming off of the success of Verbal Space Program. Um, Caleb, you're going to do a lot of dialogues there. Anything else we want to add there? Okay. It's great. Secret of Couture is going to be huge. It's going to be enormous. It's going to be a giant, giant level game that everyone's going to love. Okay. Hype's getting up there. A lot of bugs, though. How is everything looking over here in special features? Everything's the same. I think everything looks good. Graphics. Uh, let's get... Um, let's swap Caleb Bell and Jack Long in terms of their stuff there. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, because the world is going to be really important. So here's here's our Secret of Tour 2. Or two right? Let's see how we do. So we're got, I'm, hope, I'm hoping for close to maybe 1.75. Okay, 1.66. So was that an improvement over last year? Number one booth. Or wait, is that four years in a row? We're awesome. Awesome sauce. All right, so we got plenty of good design. 
Seems that the market responds particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. Oh, awesome, we've got a superhero game coming out, which we haven't done before. That's going to be a great topic. Okay, so there's technology. Okay, so we got to get the bugs out. If we can get the technology above 200, I'll be happy. Alright, come on, guys. Bugs are out. Technology's above 200. There's some more de bugs. Design. Okay. Uh, in two months, the, two months, the Mbox 1 will be taken off the market. Okay. Hype's starting to drop. Let's go ahead and please release the game. Secret of Couture is ready. New record. Didn't make a new record. New topic. New combo. Good management. Excellent. So we got some bonuses there. Level design. Graphics. 3 graphics level up. Sweet. Okay. Caleb Bell leveled up. Release the game. So, Caleb Bell gets a raise to $68,000. 3D graphics version 5. Oh, I want to do that. So, um, go ahead and find contract work. That's not going to pay very well. Character dialogues. Ooh, a vacuum robot. Let's do that. First reviews for Secret of Couture Tour 2 have come in. Seven, enjoyable. Uh, what do we got? Eight, played it for days, according to Inform Gamer. Great sequel. They loved it. Beautiful, according to all games. So sweet. So we got uh, an average of about seven and a half. How many units are we going to sell the first week? Over a million. So we got uh, platinum status. Sweet. Our competitors are jealous again. Yeah, we're doing awesome. Secret of Couture 2 is a sequel to our very first game. It's great. People are loving it. 3 million units. Okay, nice job. We'll transfer 131 into our account. Uh, so let's, first of all, let's go ahead and do a game report for Secret of Couture 2. Find out what's up with that. What people liked about it, what people didn't like about it. Mbox One is no longer supported. We released a total of three games for the platform and earned a total of $161 million. Okay. Yeah, so. There we go. Four. Okay, three. Excellent. Secret for Tour 2 is complete. Superhero and RPG action is a good combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be quite important for this type of game. Topic audience match. Superheroes, everyone. Great. Everyone loved that. Okay, so we're going to research... Um, how much does it cost to... Oh, we need 150. Crap. We need to do some more um, contract work. What can we do? Uh, character dialogues, library software, debug a program, cutscenes. Six weeks? We can't do that in six weeks. Um, let's do accept this contract, debug a program. Let's get some more research done here. We just got word that Secret of Couture 2, which was recently released by Mushroom Games, has racked over 5 million in sales. Sweet. I don't think it's going to make 1 million, though. I mean, 10 million. So, sweet, we got that. Let's do a find a contract work. Let's do that guy. It's, they're pretty good on technology, so I think technology tends to generate more research points than the other ones do, but I don't know for sure. Okay. Thank you for taking care of it for us. 61,000. I don't really care about this little piddly little stuff. I just don't want the um, uh, character dialogues. I just want to get that research points. Okay. Alright, Secret of Couture is still selling stuff. Market is normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Okay. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so we're almost there. Find contract work. Library software, you think that'll give me enough? Secret of Couture 2 is now off the market. It sold 6 million units, generating $66 million in sales. Okay, I mean, it was a pretty decent success. Um, we only got only up to 45. We need some more stuff. Find contract work. All right, we'll do it. We'll try it. See if we can get it done. At least we can learn enough research points to research the thing we want to research. I'm hoping. Alright, come on, guys. 
Come on, guys, you can do this. Oh, they're all, and they're almost ready to go on vacation, so. Didn't even come close. Okay, so we got a minor, my, moderate penalty, but I don't really care. You guys are all gonna go on vacation. Um, that's all I wanna do. Send on vacation. All right, send on vacation. Send on vacation. You're gonna research the graphics version five. Do it. Make it happen. All these guys. Dear Entheogen, we, the worldwide game and developers guild, would like to invite you to a special award ceremony at our main meeting at the end of the year. Please come. Hint, the game will end at the end of this year. So we're almost done with the game. We got eight more months. All right, so we're going to go to a... We're going to get award, an award for our hard work over the years here at the end of this one. Large booth. We're going to try and dominate for five years in a row. The can. And then as soon as we're done with this, we'll develop a new game, I guess. One last, one last hurrah. Um, develop a new game. We're going to call it uh, Mushroom Games uh, Classic. It's going to be a medium game, E for everyone. It is going to be a game dev game. It's going to be a simulation slash casual game. It's going to be for uh, Mbox Next, PC, and PlayStation 5. And we're going to use the Vamp Engine for it. Next. We're gonna use, we don't have a chance to use the, the version 4, but version 5, I should say, but we'll develop this game. Okay, gameplay is going to be pretty important. Looks good. Let's develop it. Okay. Here's our game G3 convention. All right, so let's see how many we do. Um, I'm hoping for 1.7 million. Let's, let's shoot for 1.7 million people to come and visit our booth. Yes. 1.7, so I'm hoping we, that means we're still number one. Well, number one, five years running. Excellent, we're awesome. Okay, so there's that. Hi, this is Curtin Gillen from Gamers. I got word that Mushroom Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Yeah, we'll do that. What is your expectation regarding the success of Mushroom Games Classic? Do you think the game will be well received? You know what? I'm going to hype the hell out of this game. Thank you for your time. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some marketing. We're going to, we're going to, for the first time, we're going to do a large campaign. It's the last one. Why not? I'm not sure we're even going to get it done in time, but let's take a look here. Okay, do it. Do it, guys. Get it done. I think we'll, we might get it done just before the end of the year, so we'll have just enough time to release Mushroom Games Classic, I think. So then everything goes smoothly. Okay. Clear trend towards simulation games now recently. Excellent. We're going to take advantage of that by releasing us uh, this simulation here. Uh, everything looks good. Do it. Okay. Come on, guys. You can do this. I believe in you. Last game of the game. All right. We're doing great. Okay. Now get all them bugs out. So we can release it just in time for Christmas. Got a lot of hype. Okay. Get that bug, where that bug? Okay. Finish it. New combo and good management. This is our last game, Mushroom Games Classic. All right, they're just gonna love this game. World design level up. Okay. Nobody leveled up on that one. Release the game. New research available. Dynamic World not going to be doing a lick of good because we're almost done with the game. First reviews for our newly released game, Mushroom Games Classic, came in. What do we get? Good reviews? Love it. Star Games loves it. Six could have been better, I guess, according to Informed Gamer. We kind of rushed it through development there. Seven, nice experience. And eight, very good, according to all games. 
All right. Let's go ahead and see how it does. Not too great. We only did 200,000 the first week. Caleb, generate a game report. We just got word that Mushroom Games Classic, which released from, released from Mushroom Games, has racked up over 500,000 sales. Okay. The excitement around the game seems to have no end. That's good. In an exclusive interview a while ago, Entheogen from Mushroom Games made some very bold remarks, remarks about their in, then in development game, Mushroom Games Classic, predicting it will be uber successful. Now that the game is out on the market, the consensus is that Intelligence should be more careful as the final product doesn't match the hype expectations. Overall, this, uh, this had a negative effect on sales. I don't mind. I don't mind that much. Okay. We could made a million units. Game release and post-release analysis of Game Mushroom Games Classic is complete. And they got the following results. Game dev and simulation casual is a good combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be quite important for this type of game. M platform genre match, mbox next, simulation okay. Platform audience match, mbox next, everyone great. We just got word that Mushroom Games Classic has released, has made over 1 million in sales. We made platinum, platinum on it. Well, it's not gonna sell very many because, we're, because it's the final week of the, the game. We made some, though. It was a good ride. The Worldwide Game Developers Guild has awarded Entheogen, CEO of Mushroom Games, the Lifetime Achievement Award for contributions to the game industry. Entheogen has, during a stunning 35-year career at Mushroom Games, delivered many groundbreaking games. The company is most recently known for Verbal Space Program, right? One of our huge successes. Congratulations, you have finished Game Dev Tycoon. We will now calculate your final score and show you some statistics. You may continue playing after that. I'm not going to continue playing. I played through the whole game. Final score, least profitable. Dario Kart double <laughs> trouble trash. We lost money on that apparently. Most used topic, fantasy zombies, martial arts, racing. Most used genre, action and simulation. Research topics, 51. We researched, researched all the topics. Total research completed, 52. Design points generated, 2,633. Technology points generated, 3,510. Small games, 13. Medium games, 30. Large games, we never made it to large games because we never got enough fans. AAA games, zero. Um, good games 10. We still may have got a million points for that. Topped hits 10. Publishers used 9. Self published games 34. Bestseller Verbal Space Program 10.8 million units. Fans, we got 847,000 fans. Cash 395 million. Cost custom consoles, we never built our own custom console. Mushroom Games, we finished the game. Hooray. Okay, well, I mean, I had a really great time playing this game. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun coming up with game ideas and playing through it. Um, I hope you guys had a good time watching it. Um, this is going to be the first uh, first game in a series of what I call quite simulating games, where we play simulation games. Uh, not sure what the next one's going to be. It's sort of not a, a priority because I've got this, you know, strategy in for strategy games and adventure time for adventure games. But I did have a lot of fun playing um, Game Dev Tycoon. Um, really enjoyed uh, coming up with you know unique titles and you know figuring out what the little references were and that sort of stuff. So we can go ahead and close that. So thank you, congratulations on finishing Game Tev Tycoon, and thank you for playing it. If you enjoy our little game, then please consider telling your friends about it. Well, I have. I've just told you all about this game. Uh, we've played it through all the way to the end. So I think the name of the company is, is Green Heart Games. Is that the name of the company? Because they've got a little green heart here. Uh, if you wish you can continue playing it, please note there will be no more platform releases or other story elements. So basically what you'll do is is you can continue doing like research and stuff and developing games, I think, but you don't think they're going to do any more types of like, oh, they're going to release a new thing or whatever. So let's go ahead and uh, we can look at our game history. We may have released a lot of games. I think they said the total was like 41 or something like that. Uh, I'm going to put in the uh, comment in the um, description part of this video, I'm going to release a complete list of all the games that I've released over the years. The only one I think that wasn't actually based on a um, actual game was this, uh, I don't think there was one here. Did we, did we do any that wasn't based on an actual game? Anyway, I haven't done it. So, but uh, from Secret of Couture, the first one, all the way down to 
you know, Secret of Couture 2, which was basically the last one that we did. Made a lot, did a lot of business. Okay, so uh, I really enjoyed playing Game Tev Tycoon. I hope you watched, enjoyed watching me play it. Uh, the next quite simulating game, I haven't decided what that's going to be yet, but when it comes out, I'll be sure to let you know. I'm going to call that an episode.